I came here once after I made captain. A pirate claimed she'd buried stolen goods on Topaz, but she'd lied. The ground was too tough to dig. Go. Finish this. No, no, no. Put that over there. That's Horatio. They're doing something to the yellow eggs. Why, hello, if it isn't my old friends Thomas, Nuna and Hammer. What's the matter? Had a bad day? Or... Those yellow eggs. The scoundrels suddenly remember where they saw them, on the abandoned ship not too long ago. Could these be the eggs the orcs thought they'd stolen too? Would you kindly turn around and leave? You already had your moment. You're not stealing my spotlight again. Whatever Horatio is up to, it can't be good. You're staying. If you insist. Kill them! We'll see how that's gonna go, because I remember I threw him away for a reason. Cause he's shit. <laughs> like, I don't like his abilities, that's all. But he has three assassins. What about those? Okay. Well, assassins are <laughs> way bigger threat than him, honestly. It really seems like a easy battle. I guess because I was well positioned overall. Is he taunting us? Okay. See, like it's just, just like when you were aboard the abandoned ship, a hatchling emerges from the egg. Oh wow. Did a new egg just pop out of that hole? Who knows how many of them are down there? And we're dead, essentially. Oh my god, what? There's still a chance to save it, but oh my god. They have a lot of uh, damage now. It really seems like a very bad situation, but I think I can save it. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> 
see. I told you he sucks. Once again, the valiant swordsman is betrayed by his friends. The ones who abandoned him all those years ago. Is what the old me would say. This time I'm blessed with power beyond imagination. Power befitting a glorious hero. No. Befitting a king. <laughs> My, that must be the ancient creature from the vision of the future. The one that will bring death and destruction. Hmm. Isn't she beautiful? A shame I'll have to kill her when we get to Half Arch. But when I defeat her, everyone will know. The hero of. Oh! Right. It appears they had a mild disagreement over their roles, and the ancient creature decided to terminate their relationship. Now, it wants to terminate your scoundrels, and possibly the rest of the crown. Okay. Was this sword though, right? when they approach its main eye. Or perhaps it's Horatio's sword it doesn't like. Either way, you'll need to find your way there without being hit. Thanks game for wasting a turn. Oh my god, everything's red, like the contrast. I thought this like a kraken, not a crab. <laughs> place for an eye. This must be how the giant crab sees you on its back. The eye's protective skin hardens before you can do further damage. You'll have to try again later. Later? You have no time for games. It's happened again. Try again later. But we can't go to the sword, no? The giant crab swipes your scoundrel away when they approach its main eye. Or perhaps it's Horatio's sword it doesn't like. Either way, you'll need to find your way there without being hit. Okay. It's kind of weird, like a dynamic. completely into the hole. Only one more eye, and then it will be blind up here. I guess I'll just rest up, thinking there's gonna be like a additional stage. Glares at the eye with a sword in her grip. Something 
tells her that this will be the last time she'll wield a weapon. She's glad she's wielding it for good. <laughs> With its eye destroyed, the ancient creature's power crumbles. But the killing blow came at a cost. The world is saved, and two of your scoundrels were rescued by your captain. The last scoundrel, however, is gone. You mean the Croatia or Hammer? No! That's very anticlimactic if that's an actual ending. Oh, there's gonna be like a different one. Oh, yeah, with the changes, like. It's all the things we did in the game. They never really cleared their names, but they've stopped caring about that. It's no big loss. It never felt right when they were lorded as heroes. True, they might be more hero-like these days, but it doesn't matter. After all, they're scoundrels. Very interesting. Okay, I will do my research because I feel like there are multiple because of the storyline choices you can make. Like the last boss fight was really not weak, but like I wasn't that strong. I look up what's going on, but besides that, very much enjoyed the storyline and just the storytelling. Like this is actually one of the best ones I've seen. It has some clankers with the UI and just the mechanics. As well, the difficulty was not challenging, even though it was the highest possible for an actual tabletop RPG turn-based game. It's great. What happens if we continue? Like, it's gonna be just different choice. Hammer? Wait, <laughs> what's going on? Okay, it's the same, most likely, but <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean, like, it needs polish, big time, but overall the game is pretty fun. The problem, however, is that I'm pretty sure the game is just completely finished in the eyes of the developers, and I don't see it getting patches or anything of the sort. I would love to have DLCs of it, honestly, because they have an eye for doing stories and telling them through the gameplay. As a whole package, for a turn-based enthusiast, it's pretty cool, it just needs polish and just more complexity in the mechanics or just the core game itself. 